we're touring the south side of the island, the where three the three most prosperous tribes lived because they had flat areas to grow food. Horses. We don't want to hit any horses. Yeah, hi little baby. Taking a nappy. There's a quarry out there. Can you even imagine when you look at all this flat land around how men quarried 887 Moai, those gigantic statues, and moved them? Which is where all these statues were made. It has about 397 statues still inside and outside of the same quarry. Uh, the statues that we have in here, they are from 9 to 12 and 21 meters long. They are from 90 tons to uh, 200 tons. And the biggest one it is still attached to the quarry, which is one of 21 meters. Scientific say that if it was finished, it could go to almost 400 tons. They use rope to slide them down. They stood up inside of the same dirt where you see them standing. One of them are half finished and the other half are not finished which you'll be able to see them once we are in, inside because the eye sockets were only made by the tribe once the statue was finished and out and moved from here to the site whereas only here was the same rock for all the statues. Statue that was already hewn and on its way out it's all one huge piece of stone. Seven meters with 60 and 70 tons approximately. <gasps> Very much eroded on his back. Most of all the tattoos that the statues had were all on the back of mm -hmm. the statues. Mo and I were taken from here to different sectors of the island. And that's the trail we're going to take. I suggest you can see what Steve and I are wearing. We're wearing hiking boots. We've been wearing hiking boots both in the Atacama, throughout the Atacama and here. It gives you really good support. You want closed shoes, not flip-flops, basalt. And this one here is compact ash, tough rock, which is what they use to make these statues. And with this rock, they were making these statues just by hand. Just chip away just chip keep away. going once we go on the on the quarry you will see on the wall from the quarry the cuts from the same tools going in diagonal hmm. or horizontal directions never vertical hmm. why because if they had the wood handle they would go in vertical positions mm -hmm. all the cuts but the problem was that the statue it's the, the style that the, it has in the way it's made, it's very rustic. Mm -hmm. So you have to reach different positions to mm -hmm. be able to make the figure of the statue. Mm -hmm. Statues were carved in vertical position mm -hmm. and horizontal position. Once they were taken out of the quarry, they slide down, they stood up inside of these places where they are standing, and then they proceed to the last detail right there. To finish the finishing touches. Yes. If we go back, and we take all the ground here where the statues are standing and we expose every, everybody, we will be able to see the first level from where they start. They were just going up higher and Another higher lover. and higher. In here, there were four masters and each master had four, I mean 200 people each, which means there were probably about 800 people working or maybe more. The that chicken house. Two, entrance. two entrances for the chickens? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the See chicken entrance. And then how beautiful. A mere 80 ton statue broken in half. You see, this is very peaceful when there's nobody. Yeah, this is so this is the number one site on Easter Island, would you you said? Yeah. Can you get the scale of how how big this Moai is. Look behind him, he's very much finished. His ears are well done. The sh on his shake, he's got holes in it, which were for ornaments. Ornaments were done with uh, obsidians, 
coral or red rocks, depending on the reputation too of the person. And becomes part of the same dirt. To think that half of him is still underground. Has no meanings whether they're looking to the ocean or to the sky because they only have meanings once they are in the platform. But here it was just to work on their faces. 97 statues that were carved outside and inside. So we will walk outside and then we'll go inside and we'll see the <gasps> So lake. we haven't even seen the inside yet. No. This is really one of the world's great sights. No matter how many documentaries you've seen or movies, nothing ever compares to actually being there and seeing them yeah. yourself. Hugo. And to meet Hugo. Smile, Hugo. <laughs> I've probably said this before, but you have to do it while you're able to because the sites in Easter Island are not handicapped accessible. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe more. And then on the other side, maybe 10, 15, 20. But if we take all this ground back down, we can see hundreds of statues were taken only from one space. In other words, they started at the bottom from taking the statues and worked their way up and try to get as many statues as possible out of one particular area. The tribe that ordered the statue had to come here and collect it. And if by some chance the statue cracked while it was being taken away, the people here, the workmen, had to make a new statue for free. This is the 21 meter one Moai. This it's one probably one day. And then comes this big space in here, which is probably uh, from one day to five days, maybe a week. All right. And then comes another layer here. If you look very carefully, you'll make out facial features. Look on up and you can see all these statues side by side in situ, just waiting to be worked on, cut loose from their moorings and roll down the hill. The kneeling Moai. Oh, he is kneeling. He's the only one in his kind. He's got bald head, short ears. He's got a beard. And if you go behind him, you can see his feet, which means he's sitting on his feet. Um, it's the only one. It's the oldest one in here, older than the ones we have seen already. He's a representation of a Polynesian tiki. But they still don't know the purpose, why, who. And there you can see that he's resting on his feet. There's an excellent view from the side. You can see his beard very well. Take 500 pictures just at this one particular site. Just hanging out with the guys, waiting to be collected, to be erected on a platform somewhere. But nobody ever came from them. It looks like a boat, and Hugo said that the ones that were decorated like that were probably after 1400, uh, when foreign explorers came, perhaps the Dutch. Hugo, in case I, I didn't turn it on fast enough, Hugo said the warriors were tattooed face, body, neck, all over, not just on the back. Warriors only. The king would have just been on the back. Yeah. Only right? right? So that's how they think it's a man, by goes straight, the yeah. shoulders, head. But, but the one way back one there, there, there's a hawk sitting on top of that statue, and they're considered a plague on the island, and they're trying to find a way to get rid of them. Tattoos. Moon, sun, rainbow, rain carve on their back. And when they're pushed down or left facing down, all the tattoos were gone. And only really? places where the it's erosion can't hot. reach, you can still see them. And we just came up 
the other side of the volcano into the crater. And our, our, our wild horses, the long hair is wild, trying to restore the native flora of the wetlands. So this boat, yes. Yeah. So this is where we do the Birdman competition today. This training for the Birdman competition. Hugo, would you repeat to me again what you do to train? You come here. Two months earlier, before the competition, or three months, we take the reeds out, we bring them home, or we just stay here during the three months and we dry them out. You have to always dry them under the shade. You can't really take them on, out to the sun. And if you take them, it's only one or two hours, and then you put it back in the shade. Then after that, you build two boats. From the two boats, you use one for training. The one for training, you bring it here. Then you get down, you grab 45 kilos of bananas that you bring here. And you can, with the bananas, you hang it on you, on your neck, or shoulder, you run around the lake. Sounds like fun. You come back, you drop it, and then you... Uh, to swim, he's going to run around the lake. Yeah, that's probably run away from... That he had underneath him for the swimming. Yeah, by the reeds. That the people come and cut their own reeds and then dry them for two months. Once again, the crater lake is fresh water.